Their leader Khomeini said to the Shia that were in Afghanistan, take it easy with the Russians, for when they leave, your real enemy you can deal with then. And he's the Sunnis. The Sunnis. And you don't know what Ahl al-Raf did? You don't know what the Shia are on? We gotta talk about that sometime. It's amazing that our brothers don't know about the the the, the facade of Al-Qama and how all throughout history the Shia have gathered with the Jews and the Christians and fire worshippers to attack the Muslims. And you see it happen right before your eyes. History repeating itself and people don't even see it. Because they don't pay attention to history. And they're not concerned about Aqidah. And I guess that uh, Abu Hassan Ash'ari in Maqalat Islamiyah just felt like talking about the Shia. And I guess that uh, Sheikh al-Islam in Minhaj al-Sunnah just felt like writing four or five or six volumes on the Shia. I guess that it, it's just been that way that Khatib Baghdadi wrote about, or wrote about them in Firaq wa Firaq. And Muhibbadin Khatib wrote his Khutud al-Arida, broad aspects of the Shia to, to let you know what these people are on. And we forgot all of that. We got to go back to 1979 with some of the ignorant Ramesses. And unfortunately, half of them have to be African Americans. Ran up into the Washington, Masjid in Washington, and every one of them went to jail. And every one of them got some time for the Shia. Didn't know what the Shia was on. Didn't know what they was believing. Didn't know that they got du'a, saname, Quraysh, du'a where they talk and make curses and curses about what Ka'uma. Call him the Tawagid. We say the Tawagid is Iblis. Anything that is worship other than Allah, they say the Tawagid is Abu Bakr Umar. Don't know that they say that their so-called false Mahdi when he comes back, who's uh, by the way in a cave. That's as uh, Sheikh Hassan al here, Rahimullah used to say before they, they killed him. Uh, and you can hear the tape in which they assassinated him because he's one of the staunchest uh, responders against them, wrote books against them. They blew him up. Rahimahullah. But he said about them that this Mahdi of theirs in a cave that not even a rat's gonna come out of. This so-called, this so-called leader, they have a belief they call Akira to Raja, a return. Where they're going to whoop Aisha. First they're gonna kill Abu Bakr. And then bring him back alive. And then kill Abu Bakr. And then bring them back alive. And then kill Abu Bakr. Until they do a what? Thousands of times. Then they're going to bring Umar. And kill Umar. And then bring them back alive. And then kill Umar. And then bring them back alive. Until what? Until they do it over a thousand times. Then they're going to bring Aisha. Umar Mu'minin. The mother believers. And they're going to flog her. What are you flogging her for? Don't tell me you're flogging her for adultery. When Allah Ta'ala revealed ayat and so the nur, talking about her innocent, you kafir, you khabib, you dajjal, you still trying to say she needs to be whipped for adultery? There's no need for her to be whipped for adultery because it never happened. It is a fiction of your mind. Allah Ta'ala has said she was innocent. It was that which the munafiqeen and others lied about her regarding. And Allah sent ayat from Surah Nur showing clearly that she was innocent of it. And you still have audacity to say, your so-called Mahdi going to be there. Going to whoop her. Whoop on Aisha. Raja. They have all types of qa'id. God in Allah. That Allah is ignorant about certain things. And then, oh, it becomes clear to him. Yani. These are the people that George Bush wants to hand Iraq to. You liberated the people. You claim from physical oppression, from getting their, from getting thrown in prisons, and now you're going to imprison them in shirk and dalala, which is worse. Didn't Allah say the fitna is worse than killing? Fitna is shirk. It's worse than killing. Killing Muslims left and right. Slaughtering them. Children trying to, women with their children in a car trying to pass a roadblock, get blown away. But you won't touch a mosque. What mosque? A Shi'i mosque. In Karbala or Najaf, you won't touch it. It's holy. 
All the Shia do is commit shirk. Layla and one Nahar, night and day, they commit shirk. They establish shirk. They institute shirk. They call it the shirk. And you won't, you won't touch that. And he said, Allah, when are we gonna open our eyes? Ya Ahl al Hadith, where you at? Are you asleep? Ya Ahl al Sunnah, Ya man yaqul inna kam ala min haja salaf salaf. You say that you're on the way to salaf salaf. Where you at, man? Where's the end? Where's the information? Where's the education? Where's the raising? Where's your stature? Where's your status? Where you at? Everybody's voice is heard but yours. Everybody's spreading their bottom and you got your hop and you're not moving with it. Allah will stand. Khair inshallah. Hadha wa sallallahu ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala ahli wa sahbihi wa sallam.